From my eyes to my ears to my mouth and nose From my head down to my toes From my eyes to my ears to my mouth and nose God made me so He loves me more than anything Much more than anything And I sing because He made me More than anything Much more than anything God loves me so From my eyes to my ears To my mouth and nose From my head down to my toes From my eyes Welcome back for another week of church together, and it is the final week of this month. Friends, all month long, we have been talking about how God made you, how God made you wonderfully, and how God made you in His image. And I know that you know the answer to this question, so shout it out. Here we go. Who made you wonderful? God made me wonderful. That's right, boys and girls. God made you wonderful. And I hope you never forget that. Because boys and girls, there is nothing that God created that is bad. God created you and he made you wonderful. So one more time, who made you wonderful? God made me wonderful. That's right, boys and girls. And we know this is true because we see it in God's true words in the Bible. Can you try our memory verse together with me? I know you've been working on it all month long, so here we go. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. Great job, boys and girls. I wonder... Do you think you could do it all by yourself without me saying any of the words with you? I'll do the motions to keep us on track and let's try it. Here we go. Are you ready? You got it! I knew that you would. Friends, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. God made you wonderful. Boys and girls, we have learned so far that God created everything and then he created his most special thing, people. God made you. God made you in a wonderful way and you were made in God's image. There is one more important truth that I want you to hear before this month is over. So let's check out our true Bible story and see. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We and you. Oh, hello everybody. I'm Peyton. I'm so glad you're here. Let me ask you a question. How many of you have looked in a mirror before? Oh wow, so many of you. We look in the mirror when we brush our teeth, when we brush our hair,
But today, I have to look in a mirror to do a self-portrait for school. That means I have to draw a picture of myself. These pictures are going to be hung up in the school hallway, so it has to be my best. Okay, to draw my self-portrait, I have to look in the mirror and draw what I see. I have an oval face. I have two eyes. And a nose. Now I have to draw my hair. That's going to be hard. I have a lot of hair. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Peyton. Who? Who? Looking in the mirror, are you? Hi, Ollie. I'm doing a self portrait for class, and I'm trying to draw every hair on my head. You have a lot of hairs. It's true. I know someone who can count them all. Who? Who? Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. I'm cleaning up with this brush. It's so important because it keeps my workbench clean. <laughs> Look at all these bristles. There are so many, I don't think I could count them all. Oh, that reminds me of today's true story from the Bible. Would you like to help me build it? Mm -hmm. Great, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. We have been learning that God made everything in the whole wide world including you. It's true. God made you, and you are so important to Him. You are so important to God that He knows how many hairs are on your head. Huh. Do you think we could count how many hairs are on this person's head? Let's count. Ready? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, oh wow. There are so many hairs on his head. I don't think we could ever count them all. Hmm. You know, I've never even thought about counting how many hairs are on my head. Oh, but God knows how many there are because I am so important to him, and so are wonderful you. In fact, you are important to God no matter where you are. You are important to God at the... What do you think this is? <laughs> That's right, the playground. You are important to God when you're at the playground. Let's do another one. You are important to God at the... That's right, the doctor's office. You are important to God when you are at the doctor's office. Let's do one more. You are important to God. 
Ha ha ha, you got it. You are important to God when you are asleep on your bed at night. <laughs> you are important to God no matter where you are. And you are also important to God no matter what you do. You are important to God if you are singing loud. You are important to God if you are reading a book. You are important to God if you are waiting at the end of the line. You are important to God even if you're doing nothing at all. You are important to God no matter where you are and no matter what you do. You are so important to God that he sent his son, Jesus, to show you how to live and to be your friend forever. <laughs> I am so glad that we are important to God and that He made each one of us wonderful. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made you wonderful? God made me wonderful. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you wonderful? God made me wonderful. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Adios! Oh, 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 oh. So there's your story, and it's all true. You're important to God, no matter what you do. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! It's so cool to know that God knows everything about us, even the numbers of hairs we have on our head. We're that important to him. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I can't possibly draw every hair in my head, but it's cool to know that God knows them. No matter how this self-portrait turns out, I'm still important to God. See you next time. Bye! Boys and girls, did you hear that? You are important to God. There are so many people on this earth and still God looks at you, exactly you, and he says, he's important to me or she's important to me. You are important to the same God who made the entire universe. He looks at you and he loves you because you are his special creation. You are important to God. Boys and girls, I'm gonna ask you that important question one more time and I want you to shout out the answer. Who made you wonderful? God made me wonderful. That's right, my friends. Let's pray. Will you fold your hands, bow your heads, close our eyes, and you can repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for making me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for sending Jesus to be my friend forever. Amen. Amen, boys and girls. Oh, friends, I hope you remember this truth for the rest of your life, that God created you, that he made you in a wonderful way, that you were made in his image, and that you are important to God. So let's stand up on our feet. Let's worship one more time, and let's praise that great big God who made you in such a wonderful way. I'll see you back here next week, boys and girls, for a brand new month and a brand new topic and another great true Bible story. I'll see you then. I love you, boys and girls. Bye. Our God is a great big God.